In this video, you're going to learn about five mind-bending car conspiracy theories. From government cover-ups, sabotage, and even murder, the conspiracy theories of the auto industry are truly bizarre. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle, and these are five mind-bending car conspiracy theories. Number 1. General Motors hired prostitutes to discredit U.S. presidential candidate Ralph Nader. After Nader publicly slammed GM's safety and engineering with regard to the Colbert in his book Unsafe at Any Speed, GM would stop at nothing to get him to shut up. It went so far as to hire private investigators to follow his every move and even sent hookers to get pictures with him in compromising situations with his pants down. <clears throat> Nader ultimately took GM to court and settled for three million dollars. <clears throat> Number two. John DeLorean was framed by General Motors to look like a cocaine kingpin. I have General Motors who later became a maverick of the auto industry and eventually ended up on the wrong side of the law. John DeLorean was charged with drug trafficking but he was able to clear his name during a long trial. Despite being a one-time rising star at General Motors, DeLorean pissed off a lot of people at GM and left under somewhat icy circumstances. He went on to author a heavily critical book about GM and founded his infamous DeLorean Motor Company. Unfortunately, the company turned out to be a total failure and in the midst of financial turmoil, one of his neighbors, a confidential informant for the FBI, approached DeLorean about a mega coke deal in the eight-figure range. DeLorean jumped at the opportunity thinking that the money could help out his company and was caught on tape by the feds. He claimed entrapment and actually won, then proceeded to publicly accuse GM of being behind the whole thing to prevent his company DMC from reaching success. In reality, the neighbor turned informant was a career criminal who approached DeLorean instead of the other way around, and that invalidated the state's evidence. DeLorean claimed until his death that GM was behind it all. The facts were DeLorean was actually set to move somewhere in between $17 and $24 million worth of cocaine. The state just had inadmissible evidence. The notion that GM was behind the whole thing was a paranoid plea of a disgraced former executive. Or was it? Number 3. Big Oil Murdered the Inventor of the Diesel Engine Rudolf Diesel's invention was much more efficient than the gasoline engines of that day. While he was on boat en route to meet with British Navy representatives about the military applications, he suddenly fell overboard. Unfortunately, Diesel was also nearly destitute and even marked a cross on the date of his death in his own diary. Therefore, many think that his death was actually a suicide. Or was it? Number 4. There was something wrong with the Mercedes that Princess Diana died in. We have reports from Paris that Diana, Princess of Wales, has been killed in a car accident. They were apparently being pursued by paparazzi on two motorcycles. There's perhaps nothing more central to the conspiracy that the car that carried Princess Diana and which would eventually kill her. People claimed that the route she was driving on when she died was actually blocked. The accident happened late at night in a road tunnel which carries an expressway under a bridge. They also claimed that driving at a very high speed caused the car to break. Say that the car was traveling extremely fast. Finally, and the most darkest conspiracy, that the car was actually tampered with. Reasons we don't yet know. Um, it seems to have struck a wall, spun round, and been involved in collision with a number of other vehicles. What is deeply disturbing is the evidence that have been almost crushed um, of these implications. Although everything in the car appeared to be in order, people reported seeing different speeds and that the car was certainly driving fast that night, but that there was nothing unusual about the way it was driving. So, was the car faulty? Was the road blocked? Or was it tampered with? We'll never know. Number 5 Porsche stole many designs for its early cars from a man on his deathbed. Contrary to the official stories, the VW Beetle, the Porsche 356, and the Porsche 911 weren't actually designed by any member of the Porsche family. 
With the Beatle, theories about the car's true origins range from a Jewish man named Joseph Gantz, who designed a very similar car several years earlier. And then there's the story of Erwin Komenda. He designed the Beetle, the 356, and the 911 only to have his personal archive and design sketches taken from him once he died. Porsche claimed that he gave it to them on his deathbed or so they say. The man's family believes they took advantage of him during his diminished mental capacity. Did Porsche cover it up and fail to give credit where credit was due? Well guys, those were the five mind-bending car conspiracy theories. Let me know in the comments section if I missed anything. Have you personally heard of any shocking car conspiracy theories? Leave me a comment in the comment section. We'll talk about it. If you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe. Thanks again, guys. Hope to see you soon. Until next time.